father walks into son's room to find letter that has him shaking until he sees the last line parenting isn't always easy as parents it's important for us to always be on the lookout for our children's best interests and until they grow up be able to make their own decisions for themselves it's up to us to step in and do what we believe is best for them and the future that was trying to create for them if they're an effort to do certain things on their own children have a tendency of not thinking of the years ahead and how they'll be able to set themselves up for success due to the fact that children are a gift from God we have to do that for them as for their parents a smart teenager understood that his dad had something of a soft spot for him and because he wasn't doing too well at school he worried that he'd end up disappointing his old man he'd always been urged by his parents to study more and improve his grades but he usually chose to go online and play video games instead to preempt the punishment that he'd get he wrote a scary letter that he left for his father it was his hope that the letter would scare his parents enough so they'd forget about his plunging grades and focus on ensuring his safety instead the teenagers creative note read dear dad it is with great regret and sorrow that I am writing to you I had to elope with my new girlfriend because I wanted to avoid a scene with mom and you I've been finding real passion with Stacy and she's so nice but I knew you would not approve because of her piercings tattoos tight motorcycle clothes and the fact that she's much older than me but it's not only the passion dad she's pregnant Stacy said that we will be very happy she owns a trailer in the woods and has a stack of firewood for the whole winter we share a dream of having many more children Stacy's opened my eyes to the fact that marijuana doesn't really hurt anyone We'll be growing it for ourselves and trading it with other people in the commune for all the cocaine and ecstasy We want in the meantime. We'll pray that science will find a cure for AIDS so Stacy can get better She sure deserves it. Don't worry dad. I'm 15 and I know how to take care of myself Someday I'm sure we'll be back to visit so that you can get to know your many grandchildren love your son Joshua P.S. Dad, none of the above is true. I'm over at Jason's house. I just wanted to remind you that there are worse things in life than the school report card that's on the kitchen table. Call me when it's safe for me to come home. People all over social media definitely loved the courage that he had to share this funny note. Although we have no idea who Joshua is or whether he really is a student whose grades aren't going well, one thing we know is that a lot of us are rolling on the floor and laughing at this joke. This teen understood how to play on the emotions of his parents after they considered the fact that the boy could run away and marry a deadbeat with AIDS The bad grades that he had didn't seem so bad 